Right, so this is another example that they want us to graph. It's another absolute value, so we're expecting a V shape. And what do we think that 2 is going to do? Well, this would be kind of interesting because the 2 um, is going to do like a horizontal um, shrink. But I don't know if you'll see it that way, so that's okay. Um, you could actually factor out a 2 here. We've done that. So like if you wanted to factor out 2 from here, you could write this as 2 absolute value x minus 2. Oopsies. Okay, that's probably a good idea to do that. Um, you're allowed to do that with absolute values. So let's do that. So now it's going to be a vertical stretch um, of 2. So vertical stretch. Of two. And then it's also got that minus two. That's which kind of translation, which kind of shift? Shift to the right. Okay, I know at home you're answering it. Okay, so it's going to shift right to. And that should um, tell us everything we need to know. Now, um, if you're not believing things and you're like, eh, that. Factoring out of two is kind of tricky. I don't like that. What if she's lying, you know, kind of thing. Well, let's see what's happening here. We're shifting um, two to the right. So we think our vertex is going to be over here. Um, it's not shifting up or down. So it would be right there on the x-axis. So let's plug in two and see what happens. Two minus two, zero. Zero times two, zero. Yep, it's that point right there. Now, I would pick two points on each side. I would pick 1 and 0 on the left and I'd pick 3 and 4 on the right. If you do this where you put the vertex in the middle and pick 2 to the left, 2 to the right, you're going to get good points every time. And I will give you a little hint on the test. Um, all of the graphs will fit on the little grid I give you. So like if your graph is like way off someplace, then there's going to be something wrong there. Okay, plug in 0. 0 minus 2 is minus 2. Absolute value is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then if I plug in 1, I get 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Absolute value is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. And then if I, oh, I didn't graph it. 1, 2. And then if I put in 3, I'm expecting to get a 2 out. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. See, what's happening is you're getting that absolute value part the same because you're getting the negative case and then the positive case. All right, and if you plug in 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. Absolute value of 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. I forgot to graph the 3, 2. That's right there, 3, 2, and then 4, 4. See the nice little V shape? Okay, that's what it's doing. These will get easier the more you practice them.